everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. I take the table dynamics and I relate those to our everyday lives. We got a lot to chat about, so come on in. Let's get started. Come on. Well, welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again. I really hope that all of y'all are having an amazing day. And if you're not, because we all have those days when it's just like, I just am not feeling this day. I really hope things get better for you. Okay. So listen, (laughs) y'all, when I saw this story on my favorite blog, I was like, okay, what did I miss? What did I miss? So, you know, we have so many people listening around the world and um, a lot of my international listener listeners, they're not familiar with a lot of these right, what we call right wing media personalities like Candace Owens. And so if you've never heard of Candace Owens, if you don't know who she is, I'm going to have to let you do the bulk of the research. But here's just a sample. Actually creating a sexual narrative. And in my sober analysis, I believe that she wasn't sober. I think, you know, alcohol loosens your inhibitions. And I think that she was about 10 margaritas deep in Miami, enjoying the free state of Florida. And she wrote something that was honestly just filled. Yeah, that was Candace recently on Tucker Carlson's uh, Fox News show. And they were discussing AOC. So I, if you've not been with me for a long, long time, you may not have ever heard me reference this, but my favorite blog is a blog called the old black church.com and is run by a lady named Miss Ann. And Miss Ann has had this blog for many, many, many years. She's got a Facebook group. She does such a good job with her blog and many, many, many people refer to her blog um, to find out what's happening um, in the black church world. And um, I will tell you that I frequent her blog numerous times a day um, because depending on what's happening, she also uh, blogs about updates on stories that she's done. And so I was looking at her blog over the weekend and I saw this story. She did the story that Candace Owens was being considered for The View. And I was like, okay, did I miss something? Which is possible. You know, I don't know everything that's going on the show, going on with the show. Rather, I don't see every story that's out there about our favorite show. You want to know who said that Candace Owens was being considered as a possible contender for The View? You want to know who said that? Candace. Okay. And I'm like, girl, can't. Who? Okay. Let me stop because I know our audience is diverse. And there are some of you listening who love Candace Owens and you support her and her politics. Let me just tell you exactly what Candace told them. And you know what I thought to myself, Candace, for some reason, and I don't really understand what it is, but from all public appearances, it appears to me that she has a weird fixation and fascination with wanting to be on The View. But it's like, Candace, they're never going to invite you because you're way too controversial. And you have insulted the women numerous times on social media. I mean, where do they do that at? Where do you think you're going to get a job working with the very people you've insulted? It doesn't even make sense, y'all. But anyway, this is what she said. So in this New York Post article, they reached out to Candace, okay? It was a phone interview. And the reporter says here that They asked Candace, if The View offer you the conservative seat that was vacant by Meghan McCain, would you take it? And Candace says here, guys, yes. (laughs) She says, I would love the job. Okay. But then she goes on to tell them this, and I'm quoting. I've heard my name come up a few times as a possible contender. The View hasn't had a conservative host in a long time. It was kind of a joke to hire Meghan McCain in the Trump era. She was not reflecting the views of conservatives in the country and she was lambasting us. They have a fear of having a true conservative on the network. These ladies aren't exactly the most intellectual ladies. I don't think they work in truth, close quote. (laughs) So first, my first reaction, guys, when I reread this, I'm like, okay, First of all, Candace can talk all day long, but nobody has called her over there from The View, okay? It's like, girl, give it up. Quit trying to get these people attention with the foolishness. They don't want you over there, (laughs) Candace. Did I ever tell you guys about how last year when Candace Owens' book came out, 
her publicist tried to get, did I ever tell you all that? They tried to get her on the view to, to, to hawk her book and the view declined. OMG, I got to tell you all about that. Okay. So we'll, 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 we'll talk about that on another podcast. So anyway, so it's like, okay, Candace, in one breath, you tell the reporter that if they offer you the job, you would take it. You would love to have it. But in the very next breath, you go on to insult not only the network, but the women on the show by calling them, you know, saying they're not intellectuals, which saying they're ignorant or dumb. I mean, guys, tell me this. Tell me this. Am I wrong to think this particular thing I'm about to tell you? Am I wrong for this? It seems to me that it would be common sense, no matter what your age, you know, I'm going to say 18 and over, of course, that if you really wanted a job somewhere, that it's common sense that you don't speak against the company in a public way or people who would be your potential co-workers. I, I really don't understand what this young lady is trying to accomplish here. Do you guys remember a few months ago, I did a story. I did two stories on Candace Owens. That's I've only done two stories on Candace. Okay. The first story was I did a podcast called Candace Owens makes Candace Owens, excuse me, makes outlandish claim about the view where she went online and said that the women of the view were obsessed with her. That was her word for those of you who weren't with us then. Now, mind you, in the 25-year history, Candace Owens has never been on this show. Now, Candace is pretty new in terms of being on the public scene. But ever since Candace Owens' name has been out there, she has never been to the show. That's number one. Number two, they've never even mentioned her name. So how she got that they were, quote, obsessed with her is beyond me. And you know what? There are people like who have this trait. I was about to say people like this, but people have this trait where the narrative they have in their mind does not reflect reality. OK, OK, so that's the first story I did. The second story I did was I told you guys because this summer people were saying Candace Owens should come to the view. And I'm like, no. They're never going to invite her. And I gave you guys four reasons. And those podcasts, if you're new and you didn't hear those, they're still here. Okay, just search through the, the um, content and you'll find it. All right. But but two of the reasons I gave you guys is number one, Candace is way too controversial. All of her beefs, okay, and controversies and fights would overshadow the show. It would become the Candace Owens show. It would be all about her. And they're, they, they're, they've already done that with Megan. Remember, it got so bad with Megan. It got so out of control, I should say, that it became the Megan McCain show. Everything that trended about the show was Megan McCain, Megan McCain. It was no longer the view. It was no longer the, the wonderful conversations that they used to have in the debates, right? They're not going down that road again. So she's too controversial is one of the reasons. The other reason I told you guys is because Walt Disney, who owns ABC News, who produces the view they have a vaccine mandate policy in order to work on any pot uh, um, uh, any show to work anywhere for Walt Disney, Walt Disney you not only now have to be vaccinated you have to be boosted Candace is against vaccines and she's against the mandates so it's like it doesn't even it goes listen never ever ever will she ever be on this show okay so I, I don't know what you you know what I think kind of think she's trying to do in in some weird way she's trying to get their attention over there and it's like girl this is not the way to do it okay to insult the network to insult the women okay is it's just not going to get you any positive attention anyway and who knows maybe Candace was one of those kids in school who they didn't care what kind of attention they got and y'all know there are adults like that too they don't care what kind of attention they get as long as they get it. They don't care if folks are cussing them out. They don't care if people are, are just, you know, t- exposing all their scandals. Just just keep the limelight on me. Keep my name trending. And I, I tend to think this young lady, um, maybe not purposefully, but she's falling into that trap where every other day she's in a fight with somebody. But, you know, here recently, and I didn't talk about this because, you know, honestly, guys, I was sick of Megan. So I didn't talk about this recent fight that she and Candace had on social media. I'm sure you heard about it because it was trending everywhere because they were going back and forth. You know, these these two two young ladies have very similar traits. They're constantly into it with somebody. Okay, 
So <laughs> one of the things that Megan told her was to go get fucked. And you know what? I have to say this and we're all older, more seasoned women. So I can talk to you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. When I saw that <laughs> and I was reading all the comments where people were agreeing with that, I thought, you know what? There are sometimes people say that and it's shade and they're just trying to be funny. But in this case, it's real. Go. And it's like, Candace, you got a man, girl. You just got married. Okay. Now you're somebody's mama. You got a kid. Okay. Why don't you just go get digmatized by your husband if he can do it like that? Get off of social media, girl, fighting with all these doggone people. She was just fighting with Amazon just a few weeks ago. And it's like, Candace. Why don't you turn your attention to your family, your husband, girl, your baby, okay? And get off of all this mess. Because you know what? I, I, I say this all the time. I don't know. I see this a lot with a lot of these younger women who are public. Why, they spend so much attention and time online. You just wonder, what, girl, are, what are you doing? Don't you have a husband, girl? Don't you have a kid or several kids, Okay. Give your, give all this energy and attention because y'all know it takes a lot of energy to go back and forth all day for weeks online with people. Okay. It takes a lot of energy and I would assume that it's stressful. You know, I don't engage in that. Now there've been a time or two, you know, here, (laughs) my view on the view podcast. Okay. Where some, several people may have tried to come for me and, and I just had time that day. So I let them know what it was really about. Okay. And who really runs the show over here. You know, sometimes you got to let people know, get back in your place. Okay. Get back in your place. And so sometimes you just got to take time to just let it, let it be known. Right. But this girl is, I mean, I I get the notifications, you know, and it's, I I mean, at least once a week. And I'm like, but Candace, why aren't you paying attention to your little boy? Why aren't you paying attention to your man, girl? Okay. Okay. Go get fucked, just like Megan said. <laughs> Go get it, girl, because you're spending way too much time on stuff that um, I don't really think matters. Because in the long run, all of this bad publicity that Candace Owens has racked up for herself and all of the beefs, uh, you know, into it with Kanye, into it with Kim Kardashian, into it with Harry Styles, into I could just go on and on and on about all these beefs. It's like this stuff is going to live in Internet history Okay, and you want to know who's going to suffer for all of your bad press and all of your beefs? Your kid. Your kid, because everyone's going to know that's Candace Owens' child. And he may not be able to just do regular things without being made fun of and bullied and mocked. And so I don't know, just like Megan's little girl. So I don't know if while these young ladies are online with all the, the foolishness, if they're really thinking about the future, that, you know, my kid is going to have to, see this stuff or if he does if if he or she doesn't see it someone's going to tell him about it when we go into a restaurant and people spit on mommy's food okay you know when we go into a restaurant and people refuse to serve mommy (laughs) you know kids are going to be wondering well mama what did you do child what happened so i really think a lot of these young girls like as i said to you guys about chloe kardashian they need to start thinking about their children Get offline with all this stuff. Sure, if it, if this is a part of her job, then I don't know. That's not a job I would want. But if it's not, you know, I, I don't know. I just think she has so much she could be doing. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 invited to a lot of shows. I, I know she's invited a lot of places. So it's like, Candace, I think you have enough on your plate. Stop with all the fighting. Turn your attention to your husband. Turn your attention to your child. Turn your attention to taking care of Candace, okay? And stop with all the social media back and forth with people. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in to today's podcast. What do you think about Candace Owens saying that the view is fearful or the network is fearful of having a real conservative on the show? Let us know in the the comments. I'll talk to you later. Here we go, here we go again Trying hard but you 